Christine Thuranua McKeever and I'm the director for the distance learning programs at the Royal Veterinary College. Today I'm joined by my colleague, Professor Dirk Pfeiffer, who is going to discuss the relevance of the One Health approach in managing infectious disease risks. Professor Pfeiffer is the course director for our MSc course in Veterinary Epidemiology and Public Health. He is also the head of the Veterinary Epidemiology, Economics and Public Health Group and the head of the United Nations FAO Reference Centre for Veterinary Epidemiology at the Royal Veterinary College. I mean, the One Health approach is, I guess, a different way of looking at uh, the world around us, I would say. I mean, it's got the term health in there, but uh, I mean, it's also it's about environmental health, it's about human health, and it's about animal health. So it brings it all together. So it's a systems perspective. And I guess when it was introduced, it was in a response to people recognizing that we seem to have difficulty dealing with specifically disease challenges. Mm -hmm. there's, there's an element missing there, in, in, and, and that is that we don't look at it in an integrated way. Yes. We, we split the real world into different sections, mm -hmm. and people are specialists in their field, in their science and they find it then difficult to relate to other sciences. So with this One Health approach, we are basically saying we need to step back, actually, have top quality science in these different disciplines, but we need to integrate it better mm -hmm. so that we have more effective policies right. um, that are more likely to actually result in solutions for the disease problems, not just disease problems, actually also environmental problems that yes. we're dealing with. Could you give us an example then of a situation where a one health approach is, is a good way of, of managing an animal disease problem? I mean, well, one that I've had particular experience with myself was mm. with avian influenza in, in Southeast Asia. Mm. And what they have there is they, um, in relation to avian influenza, what is very important there is you've got in the river deltas, you have mm -hmm. rice farming systems, yeah. um, small scale farmers that have a couple of chickens in addition to the rice, maybe some ducks and maybe some pigs. And within that system, the virus can very easily survive. But also what we need to keep in mind is that the people that live in that environment, they may see less of a reason for changing the way how they work because they have so many other difficulties to, to deal with. They have to, they have to make sure that they have enough money uh, to actually mm -hmm. feed their children of to course. for hospital for schooling etc so what i take from this then is that if you worked with a social scientist or an environmentalist in this case you would understand these factors a lot better yeah yeah and i i think i think that's that's the key people live their lives in an integrated way and 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 often what we do as scientists we we pick one particular aspect of that life mm -hmm. and i as a as a veterinarian i would pick the elements which are about animal health and they come up with solutions like you have to, I don't know, disinfect your, uh, the, way you, the, the area where you keep your animals or have improved biosecurity or vaccinate. But for the farmer, that may not make sense because it's too expensive or because they don't think that the chickens are important enough for them. If it was a cow, they might think it is worth it, but not yes. for a chicken. So people make decisions on the basis of many other factors, factors that I can't influence or don't understand. Dirk, as, as you point out, One Health remains a relatively new discipline. Could you tell us what aspects of it are covered in the module on One Health? We've recognised the need that our students need to be introduced to the way of thinking, a One Health, an integrated way of thinking. And that's going beyond the biological sciences. I mean, you need to connect with environmental sciences, you need to connect with um, social sciences. The new module then would therefore help students think about solutions to disease in a more holistic way. I think it's right to say then, Dirk, that this is relevant not only to, to practicing vets, but also to people dealing with, with issues of policy or working in government. I think that that's where the that's where the real challenge and that's where the the need in the end is. I mean, we can, we're scientists. We can work on interesting questions and attempt to understand how systems work within our specialties or together with other scientists mm -hmm. if we adopt an integrated kind of approach. But really, it's about provide, uh, producing solutions which make a difference to what happens in the real world, and that's where the policy makers come in. So we need to provide the knowledge base for them to produce solutions that can deal 
with the risks that are out there. So this course is also uh, very relevant for anybody who's involved in policy development. Thank you, Dirk, for that overview of One Health. The module on One Health is offered by the Royal Botany College through the University of London International Programmes. This module can be studied either as an individual module for professional development or as part of the MSc in Veterinary Epidemiology and Public Health. <laughs>